Step one, open the hotspot on your phone and connect your headset to it. This is not strictly necessary, but would improve the body tracking quite dramatically. Once connected, open the body tracker page on your phone. The body tracker page will give you a step-by-step -step instruction how to set up, which we will show you here as well. You can scroll down, you can see your camera. Let's snap a game. As you can see here, it says game not connected. So because the game is not running yet. You have to be logged into the body tracker page and the game with the same Excel worker account. In the main menu, when the game is successfully connected to the body tracker, you will see this can you breathe camera button. This button will not be here if the game is not connected to the body tracker. When we now click Calibre camera, we will be put into full pass through so you can place the camera where it should be. Place it roughly in front of you. It does not need to be perfect, but it needs to see your whole body when you're back in the center. So, if we look at this, the camera is looking at the play space where you'll be exercising. And when you are in the center, it needs to see your whole body, like this full volume, not just your feet, because you also need it for calibration. So calibration will be up here and it needs to see that. To start the calibration, you just click on calibrate and then put your thumb over your camera until the countdown is finished. This will place the calibration camera here. Now, when you go back to the center of your play space, you will see those four calibration markers, two green ones, two blue ones, which match the color of your hand. Step slightly behind those markers and touch each one until they go away. Put your hand fully inside the calibration marker. And in this case, it's important that when your hand is there, the camera can actually see it. Because if that's not the case, then the calibration will fail and your feet will be all over the place. So right hand, put it in there, hold it until it's gone. Fin down here, put it in there, hold it until it's gone. For the left hand, put it in there, put it in here. When the cat rish is done, the game will fade back into the most mode and you can see your feet now. Can now see they move when I move my feet. We see those laser pointers. They are meant to tell you where your feet are so that when the things are coming at you, you can actually see if your feet are aligned and they don't need to look down if to see if that's the case. When your feet are properly calibrated, you can start. If they are not properly calibrated, you can always go back and calibrate camera. There are two ways to use the foot tracking. One is through the quick start. You will have the balance tutorial and you will have the balance workout as well down here. It's the best if you start with the balance tutorial. It will walk you through how the exercises work. And if you're a pro user, you can also go to customer's workout and add the balance exercises individually, mix and match them with the other workouts. We will go for tutorial now as soon as your feet are lined up with the blocks they will the blocks will light up if, you are. if i'm model aligned you see we're not hitting them your feet will always be in your frontal plane so they cannot extend forward or backward you got this now the same to the other side shift your weight on the left leg Keep your core you activated, spine it. straight, and do the side steps. These red walls are barriers. Raise your left foot to clear them. Raise it enough to also make contact with the cube above to score. Try and keep your balance. And now switch. Yeah. So to add more stability, do the same move. Every time you do an exercise, when a feet are not required, they will vanish and they will reappear when the exercise that needs a feet comes up.